Hello and welcome to GoGeekGo.com. This video covers Power Center tool components, ETL mapping on how to do a simple data load from source file to target file. A file is any text document like contents of a notepad or any CSV delimited or fixed width file. We will also cover our first transformation called expression transformation in this video. Finally, we will talk about sessions, workflow. Workflow is the tool where we will see how to run the underlying mapping we created. In Power Center, there are four main components and as a developer, you only need to know three of them. Designer, where we will be creating mappings, Mapping is nothing but a combination of ETL, where E is your source, T your transformation, and L is the load in targets. This is where you write your code logic to transform the source data and load it into the targets. Workflow Manager You can't run the mappings on their own. To run mappings, you need to create sessions, Session is the place where you tell Power Center about your source or target details. For example, whether your source or target is a file or database and where it is located. And workflow is nothing but a combination of one or more sessions where you define the dependency between the sessions. Workflow monitor is where you monitor the workflow runs and check logs for any issues, data validations, or unit testing. Repository Manager is for administrators and I will cover that in my other videos. So let's take a deep dive into the Power Center tool components now. As a beginner, I would recommend to see this video multiple times until you are comfortable with the components of Power Center tools and each of their use. So let's open the tool. Go to Start, All Programs, your correct version, Client, Power Center Client, and Power Center Designer. Connect to the appropriate repository. Usually for development, you would be connecting to a repository named something like development repository, dev repository, or in this case, it's like dev box. Give your user ID and password and hit connect. I'm using administrator password and ID, but in your case, you might be using your own user ID or password, which will be given to you by the administrator. You can see as I connect it to the designer, I have different sections. On my left hand side, you can see I have different folders and inside one of the folder, we will be creating mappings. Bigger section, this is where the mappings will get created. There is another third section which is on top this is where you will see all your transformations. So let's see that in action. Connect to a folder by double clicking that or you can also open a folder by right clicking and open. So now let's say I'm connected to the customer standardization folder. As soon as I connect it to the folder, I see all these different options have popped out. This one is Mapping Designer where we will be creating mappings. This one is the Source Analyzer where we can get the extract or the source part of ETL. So this is where we can get the target where we will be loading the data. For now, let's not worry about these two. So let's go to the Source Analyzer and we can import any kind of sources from here. For this tutorial, I am importing data from a file, but you can import from a database, COBOL file, XML, many different sources. Similarly, you can load the data into many different targets. So let's import from a file. 
you need to change that to all files and this is my source file I'll double click that and I will say import field names from the first line as my first line is the header row I would use default text length as 256 and rest of the things looks good so hit next and you can hit finish now under source analyzer you can also save it by control s so this gives us the e part of our etl so keep in mind etl is extract transform and load so this is e right here now we also need the t which is transform and the load so to load we need targets so let's go to target and also the easiest way for this tutorial is I can simply drag and drop my source into the target designer because my target definition is exactly same as source so that's why I did it just by dragging it from source to target here so this gives my target definition keep in mind we will be changing the location and the name of this file so that we will create a separate target file with the clean data now let's go to the mapping designer and start creating our mapping this is the real deal so let's drag and drop your source before you do that you need to name your mapping so let's give some meaningful name which is easy to understand m standardized customer data now this brings our source into the mapping you can see there are two parts to it for now just ignore what this part is and just think that this is your source definition this source definition gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of doing some of the things like select distinct and overriding your sql query or the source columns using various filter clause or where clause uh, but that applies when your source is a database object so for now this is simply your sources now let's come to the transformation part in this case we are using an expression transformation so if you can see here this is your expression transformation this is a different transformation either you can just click here and draw it here and it's gonna create your expression transformation for now let me just delete that and I'll show you another way to get your transformation inside the mapping go to transformation and say create and from drop down you can get the expression transformation right here give the descriptive or the meaningful name I will simply give the name as exp underscore transform now you can shift and drag down all the columns so that all the columns get selected and now you can drag them into your next transformation which is expression and you can minimize that using these icons now let's get the target in as well so this is our target before I do that I can rename my target to the target name which we will be creating so let's transform some of the data so I will click on the last name column and I will say copy and paste this will paste an exact column like my last name and I will change it to O underscore last name O means output port because what I'm going to do is I will make last name as input port and O underscore last name as my output port there are three different type of ports in informatica input port output port and variable port input port is something which is coming inside that transformation in this case inside the expression transformation and output port is something which is going out of your transformation in this case we want to transform last name which is coming inside my transformation so now my output port is upper of last name this is my input and my output port is upper of last name I'm gonna do the same for first name as well now let's copy and paste gender and make this one as the output and this one as the input 
now here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna write a if then else statement and the way you write if then else statement in Informatica is if gender is equal to M then I will output as M A L E male else if gender equal to F then I'm going to write female this is a simple if statement if gender is equal to M then male else if gender is equal to F then female and you can give else if none of these then just give unknown validate that now this does not solve our problem if you look at our source data it has different values where we can transform our data let's say in women we need to make it female as well then there is u and k then there is f which we have already covered and male and female as well so let's cover those pieces as well so what I can say is if gender is equal to F or gender equal to women then female now similarly there can be values in the gender field for men which will come as men and we need to transform that to male so I can simply say that or you can actually double click that and the gender can show right there so if we see values like M or gender equal to men then it's going to show male if it's if we have gender is equal to F or gender is equal to women then it's gonna show us as female otherwise it will always throw a value as unknown now let's check the data again if you think we haven't covered the condition male and female what if the values are actually male or female because we haven't covered those conditions so it's gonna throw as unknown let's validate it okay this looks good if you see I ha I'm comparing all values which are uppercase and in my file I see there are some camel casing or uppercasing so to do the right comparison what I will do is I will make the gender as upper first and then I will compare so let me do the same for all values so hit validate okay apply okay now connect all the appropriate ports to your target and this completes your mapping now the next part is to create the session and workflow because mapping is just the skeleton to run the mapping you need to have a session where you will actually give the information like where is your source file and where is your target file and workflow is something which you can run your session with so workflow is the place where you will be running your underlying mapping logic before I proceed I wanted to tell you that you can save your work at any point within mapping designer or workflow manager by going to repository and click save or you can also hit control plus s another important point i wanted to make is there might be few things which you will not get in this first video but believe me you will get them easily as you will see more of my videos and by creating some of the mappings sessions and workflows on your own creating a session or workflow is very simple you can do that right from your mapping designer right click and generate workflow hit next hit next here it will show you that it's going to prefix your session name as s and workflow as wf these can be considered as some standard naming convention as well for workflow and sessions finish now your workflow and sessions has been created to see them you need to go to the workflow manager which you can do it right from here drag that and drop into here 
so in workflow manager you will also see different sections so again the left one is same as the mapping designer where you have your project folders or project names and this side is where you will see the workflow and this one is the session while this whole thing is your workflow you will learn more about workflow and sessions as you will see more of my videos on this middle section you can see three of these tabs for now don't worry about these two tabs and let's just concentrate on workflow designer so let's open this session double click your session go to the mapping tab and go to sources and here you will tell where is your source file so my source file is actually located here I have copied that path and I'm giving it here and my source file name is correct similarly go to the target and give what is your file name and my target path is also same as where my source file is located you can also tell one more thing when it comes to flat file as your targets that you want output field names as your first row which will be a header row for your target file okay save and your workflow and sessions are ready so what i would recommend is this might be overwhelming for you because there are so much small details here i would say go back and look at my video again how i did this session and how i have given the source file path and the target file path now next thing is we will run this workflow from here but we need to see when it's running so for that you need to open a workflow monitor which we can open from this icon double click that now let's run the workflow start workflow and it will show you here this time it got failed let's see what is the error to see the error you right click it and get session log as soon as you get the log to go directly to your error you can hit severity and your error will come on top in this case the error is the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process because i have opened my source file that's why i got this error so let me close this file and run the session or our workflow again start workflow as you can see it got succeeded and it loaded 15 rows so let's go to the folder and see our target file so this is our tgt is our target file which got created just now double click that and let's see how it looks so here i have opened the target file first you can see that there is a header row second you can see last name and first name wherever they are given they are uppercase and if you look at my gender it is much more cleaned it only has three values male female or unknown not like my source file where i have multiple values for my gender column male m men women u and k so this is much more cleaner i quickly want to show you one more thing that you can right click on this pane here and you can say arrange all iconic this is really handy when your mapping becomes really large this completes this particular video and in my next tutorial i would be covering filter and sorter transformations thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeekhole.com for more easy to learn videos bye now